Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you how to install the Lighter OS ROM on your Galaxy Tab E. This ROM has many advantages over the stock Samsung firmware which is pre-installed. It removes all of the bloatware apps so you are left with a clean installation of Android. Also the battery life is improved. Before we begin, make sure to back up any important files to a flash drive or your computer as the tablet will be completely wiped. Also, make sure that your battery percentage is over 50%. I recommend 70 upwards. This is to prevent your tablet being bricked. Make sure that your tablet has the model number SMT560 as this is the only supported model. model. Okay, so you're going to need these four main files. There is one optional and that is the Super SU version 2.66 and basically this gives you root access. So if you if you don't want root access on your tablet then you can just leave this one out. But the the ma four main ones you are going to need. Now let's start off with this one. This is the G apps otherwise known as Google apps and it's for the ARM processor which this tablet has and it's on Android 4.4.4. Next is the ROM. This is what we're going to be flashing. This is what's going to give us. This is what's going to give us Lighter OS. And as you can see, it's once again compatible with Android 4.4.4, .4 and it's supported on the T560 model. Next is TWRP. Now this is a custom recovery. It's going to allow us to flash the ROM. Now Odin, Odin 3 is a is a Windows tool that allows us to basically flash the recovery so that we can flash these two files or these three files. So Odin allows us to flash twerp or TWRP which then allows us to put these on. It'll make sense soon but those are the main files. Okay so now we're just gonna move these files to our tablet now we're going to move the TWRP the ROM G apps and super SU if you want it so you can just copy and I'm going to move it to my tablets SD card and then I'm going to paste them over to the internal storage I'll show you that as well so all the files are moving and whilst that's happening you can just minimize it and you just want to right click on Odin and click extract to now I've I've already made a uh, extracted folder so I'm just gonna hit yes to all and then you should have this folder with Odin inside it and it should have like this little blue bubble with download there we go so you can close out of that and just wait for everything to be pasted over to the SD card. I'll speed this bit up now. There we go, all the files have now been moved over to our SD card. So let's just recap, we got the G apps, the actual ROM, TWRP and Beta Super SU. Now as you can see they're all in zip archives and you, you want to make sure that none of them are extracted. So now let's go move all of these files from the SD card onto our internal storage on our tablet.
Okay, we are now ready to flash the custom recovery, the OS, and then uh, then the Google Apps, and then Super SU or Root if you want it. So we're going to start off by powering the device off completely, like so. It's shutting down. Now what you want to do is you want to hold down the power button, volume down, and home all at the same time. I'm just thinking of a good way to show you this. So we got home, volume down, and power. Now you should see this. It says warning. Uh, if you want to download a custom OS, press the volume up key, volume up to continue. So you're going to press volume up. And now, as you can see, you are in download mode, otherwise known as Odin mode. Now we're going to be using Odin to flash all of the um, files. And there we go, just to confirm, our device is SMT560. So let's go and flash the files. Okay, so with the tablet in download mode, you just want to connect a micro USB cable to your PC. Once you have done that, you want to open up Odin, like so, and then just close out of everything else, and then it should say added, this shows that your device is added, and if the IDCOM, which is this bit, is blue, that means your device is added correctly. If it's grey or any other different colour, download the um, Samsung USB drivers. I'll have a link to those in the description down below as well. Okay, you want to go over to options and make sure that auto reboot is unchecked. Once you've done that, go back to log, select AP, and then select the TWRP file. Hit open, and then just click start. There we go, it's succeeded and it says pass. So now I'm going to show you how to get into the TWRP recovery and flash the rest of the files. Let's go do that now. Okay, so once it says pass and this blue bar is full, you can unplug your device from your computer. Now we're going to enter Odin mode, or not Odin mode, download mode. Now to do this, you're going to have to be real quick, you're going to press volume up, then in between the power, uh, in, in between the volume up and down and power, so volume up, in between, volume up and down, power, then once the screen goes black, you want to press volume up, power and home. So I'm going to try and show you that, so there you go, in between, home, power screen will go black black then you want to press volume up home and power and you should get into TWRP recovery otherwise known as team win Now we're going to start flashing things, as you can see the battery is above 50%, so if yours is not, then I recommend charging it. Once, you, once your battery is at a sort of high percentage, you want to hit install, select storage, make sure it's internal storage, then hit ok, and scroll down until you see your files that you have flashed. That you have um, pasted in, sorry. So as you can see, the KitKat ROM is the first, so let's go do that. And I'm just going to swipe to confirm flash. And now it's installing the ROM. So I'll speed this bit up and I'll come back once it's finished.
and there we go once it says done you can go and press the middle uh, navigation key which is home then click install and select the open G apps and flash as well now it's installing the core G apps so this is things like the Play Store and once again I'll speed this bit up And there we go, the G apps have been successfully installed, so now we can just reboot our system. Now I'll be back once we're in the setup process. And there we go, the device has now booted up with 65% battery life remaining. So I'm just going to go through the um, setup, I'm going to select a language which will be English. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go through the setup and I'll be back once uh, I'm at the home screen. Okay, now if we press finish, we will be greeted with our home screen. Now as you can see, if we press the app drawer, there are very little apps. All the basics plus the Play Store. Now the Play Store should be working, which it looks to be, yeah. Now all of the features are working, as the description said. Uh, you may need to update some of the apps. There we go, Google Play services need an update. Uh, Wi-Fi connected very quickly. There we go. So now I'm going to show you how to root the device. Now to do that, you are going to power the device off again. Once again, make sure that your battery percent is above 50, mine's on 64, so that should be okay. Power the device off, and we're going to go into TWRP recovery once again. This time we're only going to need to press um, the power button, volume up, and home, so let's go do that. is the recovery and it's going to go on install again scroll all the way down till you see oh hang on beta super su so i'm going to click on it and then just swipe to confirm slash once again i'm going to speed this bit up oh i didn't really need to i was a very quick flash so now you can just reboot the system now I'll be back once it's rebooted. And there you go, that was a very quick reboot. Just swipe up. This keeps coming up. And you should get an app, Super SU. Now just to double check, we have a root access and it's installed successfully. We're going to go over to the Play Store if it loads. I had this problem with last ROM. Let's try closing it down. Oh, it's doing an update. There we go. Play Store. And now you can just type in root check 
And then this is the best one, the one with a little hashtag and a tick. As you can see, it is the new Play Store layout, and scrolling feels smooth. Just going through the pictures, hit install, and then just click accept. As you can see, there isn't a problem with the Wi Fi because we're getting full signal. And I'm just going to stop all these updates just so I can get the root checker installed. It looks like maps managed to evade. So I'm just going to go and. Oh, there we go, it's just installed. So I'll, I'll be back once the root checker app is installed. There we go, Root Checker has now been installed. So we're just going to hit open. Hit agree. Swipe and then hit get started. Now you just want to go over to the top and click verify root. Now Super SU is going to request, so just click grant. And there we go. Root access is probably is probably properly installed on this device. There we go. So that is how to install the Light OS on your Galaxy Tab E and how to get root access with it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment down below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.